The Monster Cave, Kagawa Prefecture, Japan. Once upon a time, there was a huge cave with a monster living inside. The monster had a lot of followers who were bandits. They usually gathered at the cave. The bandits stole at nights, so they headed for the valleys down the mountain in dusk. They usually enjoyed their feast at the cave after thieveries. One time, the monster ordered the bandits, Bring a beautiful woman to me. That sounded like a command. His followers then headed to the valley and searched. They found a beautiful young lady at a clothes store. A bandit then brought a large amount of money to the store. He asked for this and that while showing the money bag to the store owner. The owner thought the bandit was a big client, so he served liquors happily that he himself was drunk. The bandit then put the owner's wife in a box and brought her to the cave. The monster was overwhelmed and took the lady as his own wife. On the other hand, the owner woke up and found his wife nowhere. He put away everything and ran out to search for his lady. One year, two years, and three years passed. One day, he happened to stay at the same shelter with the bandit. Three years ago, I caught a woman at a clothes store and forced her to become the wife of a monster. The man thought, that's my wife. So he wittily asked for the location of the cave. Then he reached the cave. The bandit also told him the monster slept at daytime and went out at nights. So he chose to invade at the dark. I'm here. Oh dear, you are here. As the monster might have back, the owner hid himself down the cave. At sunrise, the monster came back. I smell human. I smell human, he suspected. The lady replied, That's because of the infant inside my belly, with a big smile on her face. Really? That's something to celebrate. Let's celebrate. The monster was exceedingly happy and drank a lot of liquors. Very soon, he was fast asleep. Seeing that, the lady called out his man hidden down the cave. The owner had the sharpest monster sword in the world, and he courageously cut off the head of the monster. The man and his beautiful young wife took away all the treasure of the monsters, and they went back home safely. Afterward, they opened a bigger clothes store. Their baby was then born. They lived happily ever after.